Yo no vatos, thanks for tuning in to yet another video infamous here. We're going to be looking at this other tent. I wanted to see what this would look like on the windshield, so I went ahead and I ordered some of this kind of a reflection chrome type of rainbow type of finish. I wanted to see what this is going to look like on the windshield, and I'm using my 11 inch windshield from Memphis Shade. I've had this one for a while now, and it's been sitting around, so I kind of wanted to do something with it swap it out since it is summer have a shorter windshield and i'm going to show you guys how to put this on there i already went ahead and i already cut this down down to size i'll measure it in a bit i believe it's 32 inches by i say 12 32 by 12 or, tw or 32 by 13 depending on your windshield so if you buy this from amazon you are going to have enough enough uh, vinyl to you probably make two in case you mess one up or in case you have something else that you want to use it on you can you do have enough so let's go ahead and uh, try to put this on there I already went ahead and I cleaned it up it's been sitting in the closet so I, I used some pledge cleaned it up there was a lot of dust on it uh, so just have a clean surface just so this could adhere to the to the surface all right, so you want to get somebody to help you out for sure. This is going to be a little bit tough uh, just because it's vinyl. You don't want it to stick on itself and that will suck. So let's go ahead and put this off. All right, so right here, as we can see, I'm going to just go ahead and do some voiceover just mainly because I already went through this and I don't want to put you guys through the whole process one more time. So if you can see i have a little masking tape at the middle of the uh, vinyl that's just to give myself an idea of where the middle is when i first did it the first time i accidentally went a little heavy on one side then i had to pull it off again and then reinstall it so it's a good tip to just kind of know where your middle is at that way you're evenly placed it's kind of hard to to kind of determine where you're at when you're putting this down and you're holding and you're trying to prevent it from uh from just crumbling up and stuff like that so good idea just mark your middle measure it mark your middle know where you're at that way uh you don't have to put this on once or twice or even three times just get it right on the first time and as you can see i am having some air bubbles you just pull that up and then just reapply it again or you can use the heat gun as well but i'll use the heat gun in a, in a bit as 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 you guys are going to see in a, in a little bit so and then if you see at the bottom right you see that i started using the uh the paper towel just to not scratch the, the vinyl it'd be a good idea to kind of do that from the get-go i was just i guess i just kind of forgot about it i started applying some heat on it i don't know if this works i don't normally put vinyl i normally don't use vinyl i'm not an expert at this so I started using the, the heat gun because that's what I did the first time. And I just like the way it kind of curls around the edge. And it kind of just, I, I think it stretches a little bit uh, for the next part. It just I, I think it just makes it a little bit easier to kind of file it off from the edge. And this is where you guys are going to see that right now. Now, I couldn't find the filer that I used the first time. I have a Leatherman. It's a multi-tool. I have that. So I started using the one that's kind of meant for, for your nails. Uh, I'll show you in a bit right now a little bit of a close-up and this is what I did throughout the whole edge. It took longer because I didn't have the right tools. So if you wanted to, maybe you guys could get a filer. Uh, it's kind of like this, something that's that'll probably help you get the job done sooner or faster. Uh, and then here with the X-Acto knife, I just kind of finish up the uh, the minor little details, remove the... Uh, the, the holes right here for the uh, for the bolts and screws on the on on the fairing and I also didn't have a filer for this sort of stuff so I used uh, kind of a, of a picking tool to kind of clean up the edges and I did that for all the holes I don't want to put you guys through it all right so here we have the old one this is my 13 inch uh, tinted with vinyl as well this is, has a vinyl on it I've had this one for over a year now and it's held up very nicely and now we're going to be installing this new one uh i went ahead and i put a vinyl sticker on the front uh we're going to be using this 11 inch and we're just going to see how it performs and how it looks and how it looks in the sun and maybe you guys can probably decide which one you want and i'll have a link for both of these in the uh, description so you could either go with the uh the regular black tint or you could go with this kind of a chrome uh, reflective material a few moments later all right so we're outside now we're gonna be looking at 
the new tint. I don't know if you guys like it or not. You guys go ahead and share your thoughts down below. Look, there's so many different colors you could go with. I went ahead with this one. Yes, there's uh, there's some gold ones. There's some red ones. There's some blue ones. There's some yellow ones. Look, there's all kinds of different colors. Uh, when I was looking at the gold ones, there was just in the in the reviews and in the comments, people were just saying that it looked more green than than gold. So that uh, so that's why I kind of went with this one. Uh, it picks up the color very nicely. I think at night you can't really see it. Uh, when I had it in the shade, or when you have it at this angle, it doesn't. Uh, you don't really see the uh, the rainbow effect or the color effect, but. In the, in the sun, like I said, if I have it in the shade, you can't really see it. So, it's pretty cool, I think. I think it looks pretty nice. I don't know, you guys go ahead and leave your comments down below. Like I said, I also went ahead and I put this vinyl, this bar and shield on it. I actually eyeballed it, and you know what? It looks pretty good. I, I think I got it in the middle. Uh, yes, it looks nice. I don't know, like, like I said, you guys go ahead and leave your comments down below. You, it is June. I mean, we're still in June, I guess, so technically... <laughs> I made a joke that's probably not uh, not not good for YouTube. So, uh, yes, like I was saying, looks pretty good. I think at night, or at, or in the shade, you don't see it. You, you only see these, uh, these colors uh, when it reflects off the sun. So it looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and look at it from this angle. Uh, there is no real color on the back and you can see through it still like I mentioned this is a dark smoke uh, windshield this is the darkest one that uh, that uh, that Memphis Shades offers so, all right so I guess you know what that's pretty much it you guys just stay out there stay safe let me know in the comments what you guys think or let me know if you guys think that I should have probably gone with a different color or let me know if you guys already tinted your 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 windshields based off of my last video. It's got already it's already got about maybe 10,000 views. So I'm pretty sure some of you guys already tried it out. Leave your comments down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys like this uh, this vinyl, or if you guys have something probably better, there's all kinds of different stuff that that you could do. Some people just paint it. Uh, so I guess you could just 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 put on a solid color on there a different color to kind of go with the whole bike or whatever you know uh, you guys just stay out there stay safe don't believe everything you read life's a risk get out there and ride later